are on the Litchi of Grimrock. We are going to start off by playing this game. This is the Echelon Dungeons. This is the Echelon Dungeons. Right, so you start off here. And the thing to notice is this. This thing here. Now, this is a clue. Although you can't get through the wall, this is like a black. It's very unusual to have this arch. Well, look go around this room nowhere else do you see that arch like that so this is like saying to you you can actually go along here using the pen you can actually do yourself a little clue here oh yeah this is it look clue secrets so you can do that it's good right so we've noted that there because the other side of that wall is worth knowing about Right, so the other thing is another clue. So I said two, two clues in this room. There's this vine, um, because you're probably wondering why I haven't gone round picking up all these different things. Um, this is the east door, west door, north and south door. So these two side ones are good. Um, this is another good one. Um, this, oh no, don't pick any of these up. Well, you can do, but you'll find that you won't get very far. Uh, your guide to picking up items is the vine. This is a vine, so it's saying to you, pick that up and go through the nearest door. Uh, meet your friendly neighbourhood mummy, who's coming to greet you. So usually one of the first monsters in the game, the, mon the mummies. Pretty easy to defeat. Right, so this is where this note comes in because we actually made a note on the map. See, this is where the clue secret is coming in. We are looking at this now and there is... and he's just come <laughs> right on cue! Right on cue. Right, that sorted him out. Um, so what happens now? We do a little thingy bob in here. We found that. He can have his favourite uh, whitewood wand. Um, oh, there's another stone there, look. And in fact, here something here isn't there this is another this is another situation where um hold a minute no they, they got nothing on them look um that uh, on the map you can do another note about this um secret secret clue so we got another secret just there because just behind there is somewhere worth going to. It's nothing, actually, this is just nothing. That's just a dead end. Um, and this is... See, there's more vines. Clue number two. So... Oh, yeah, look. See? Go straight through here. And we find an empty alcove. But this is empty. Um, actually, we haven't seen any alcoves yet in the game. So what could it mean? If we place an item onto the alcove... Go straight into another... Oh, look, come on. The young lady can... Uh, that's rotten. That, the, the sorcerer gets rotten stuff in the hope that he can kind of transmogrify it into something decent. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, we are going great guns. This is the Echelon Dungeon. Now, there's various secrets around. Uh, and the big thing with these rooms is look out for the vines and it tells you which one to pick up or you can just try figuring it out yourself no harm in that at all uh, but as you go round just look out for things like this at the top look hollow oh blimey how about that straight through uh, this is a good one to remember because we've got etherols to fight so he needs to go up on water magic um, at some convenient time. Oh, is that it? Blimey, there wasn't much in there. Really? That's all it was. Just two items, okay. Um, all right, I think we've we come up on the beach. Yay! Ooh, thank you very much.
very much. So... Um, oh, the rope. There's a rope. Just the other side of that little oak tree there. So there's a few... I mean, that is a critical item to pick up. Uh, there's a branch there, which the old miner tool can use. Just here is a fantastic rope. Wow! Okie dokie. Well, you can't say much. Here we are. Look, we're going to do a bit of hunting now. Test out the old branch. Yep, and that'll do us for supper. That will be our supper tonight. Very nice. Um, all of these, yeah, we'll have those. Um, Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, we need to get the pot boiling. No, no, just behind these gates here, there doesn't look like there's anything there, does it? But if you go a bit closer, there's a knife. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's a nice little find. But there's even more secrets to be had. Ah. Wow. I'm going to have a real supper tonight. No, um, if you look at this, there's a kind of an archway there, which means come in! Whee hee It doesn't look like there's anything here when you first go in. Um, but there's quite a lot. Um, there's a mask. If you move the screen down, you can see where stuff is. There's a shield there. Uh, wait a minute. Where was that? I thought I saw... Yeah, there, there it is there, look. Right, so we picked up a lot of stuff there, that's really good. Now, the minute you get it, share it out, might as well. So we are doing a cracking job. We really are doing a cracking job on the Echelon Dungeons. I think we've done most of it. A um, couple of things to note. This is where you come to if you've got a rapier sword. This is where you come to if you've got two rapier swords, because this one won't open unless both rapier swords are in place. This one will open with one of them. Uh, so that's worth knowing. Uh, although you do find that out from experience, of course. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, look, is that? That's good. That's good. God, it's not bad, is it? Not bad. Cool. Nice old job. Nice old job. Right, so the thing to do now is to save the game. Um, save number one or something like that. Anything really. But do save the game at this stage. Now you've got a choice of trapdoors. Does it really matter? Yes, it does. If you choose this one, you've got a very hard mission. If you've got this one, you just got a hard mission. Oh, I can see something behind there. It won't come out. It won't come out. Okay, you've got a hard mission there. Very hard mission with that one. So we will shoot down the level. Now this is affectionately known as Standard Tomb. Um, this, this is quite hard in here. But if you jump off, it's like, oh boy. Flip it, heck. Wow. Um, so we have come down to the correct place because you've got the secret button which gives you a real edge. Um, there's loads of stuff to get with a secret button in the system. So the thing to do when you get a bit closer is to just put the stone on there and it lights up another one. And another one as well. If you put one there, then this flipping thing starts opening up. This is the time to activate these juices. Just about to go into battle. Man, mummy. those uh, potions activated it really helps. It really does. He's run out of stuff. Nice. Nice. Look.
knife. I tell you what, with the, with the knife, I don't even know if you can do this without this knife. Right, so she is going to go up on armour. Because, of course, she's got this armour. Look, she's got that armour. She's got the mask, which is armour. He's going to go up on... On double concentration because now he can do light. That's the only thing. Um, just going to sleep for a minute just to because they got fair duffing up there, didn't they? <sighs> right. So if you're just down there, you're missing out on all this stuff, which it can still be done. So what is this? This is their base. And if you remember, more than one gang of mummies came out. What does that mean? That means did he go through. That's what it means. Um, just have to work it out. Um, blimey, they are really bereft of stuff, aren't they? Alright, uh, so we've got a few odds and sods. Um, now then, you press this button here, and this means you get the last the offerings. Um, oh. Okay. Oh yeah, look. Um, oh, she's, she's already armoured out, funny enough. So what else? She can have those. Um, well, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Uh, if you can take advantage of all those things, you are really cracking on. So now you've done it all, um, you can um, empty the shelves now. Make the most of it get as much stuff on board as possible. Right, so now you can choose one item from this lot. That's all. Uh, I wouldn't mind saving it again at this stage. You know, save number two. Something like that. Something imaginative, you know. So grab this and all that lot disappears in a puff of smoke. But he's now got, um, he's now got like a catapult thing, what's it called, a sling. Um, he left all the other stuff up there, well, too bad. Um, but now this gets really quite difficult. Um, right, so I think he's going to peg it, he, he always does. Um, got to be so careful with the sorcerer. So now, what's gonna, what are you going to do now? You've got a choice of levers. Where, oh crikey, hello. Oh my god. <sighs> um, does it matter which order the levers are done in? Uh, hmm. Right. Well, uh, let's just try this one. Let's see what happens. Here we go, look. Here we go. Two sides, charming. Blimey. Love that poison. That really came in handy. Right, Minotaur is going up. But what is he going to go up on? Um, heavy weapons, I suppose. Because he's got... Uh, yeah, there's a couple of heavy weapons ones that are coming up available. Um, what about this fella here? Um, he can do concentration, I think, is it? I'm going for the right one. Um, at this point, they can have a bit of a kip a vu. Uh, blimey, what's happened to all the um, stones? We've got two stones. Ah. Guys, so short on stones, aren't they? Still, how much time has elapsed into the game statistics? 13 minutes so far. Right, okay, we're doing pretty well. So, this one next, I think. Yeah. Yeah, look, they're coming out. Actually, I think he should have. Oh, we're missing out on the shield up on the beach. Never remember everything. I'm sure there's a shield to be had up there. We missed out on Unfortunately. I think that 
that's it. But um, have a look on the ground, and you can see there's a right old mess on the ground just here. Look, see all that? That's a clue. That is a clue. So we just go straight through. And oh, I tell you what, we are sorted now. The only thing is with those sparkler ones, do try and save those if you can. Oh, I tell you what, he'll have that. Um, no, the uh, sorcerer, he can do that. So we just keep that for when the sorcerer dies. Um, keep those lightning bombs for underwater, I think. Uh, oh, crikey, this has come to the really difficult part of the game. Wow! This is a nightmare. Definitely save it again. Save it again. Overwrite some bloody save that you've already got. It doesn't matter. Right. So what are you going to do? Um, flipping it. This is a nightmare. Uh, no, it's not, is it? We've got frost bombs now. We found a whole bar pole, didn't we? Oh, maybe we didn't. Okay, so... I suppose the time has come to use this frost bomb. Is it that damaging this little tiny little creature can be actually? This flipping thing that nightmare. <laughs> actually, I'm going to use one of these things on it. It's a bit of a to be honest. Uh, oh, I know what you do. You get them to spread out, don't you? Yeah. Um. Cool, I like it. I like it. Doing well. Doing well, right. We got them to spread out, so what you do is you double back through this lock. And there's a lever here, but the most important bit is to put it back and you get this fantastic case of bolts. Absolutely superb. And this really is the key to the whole flipping thing. But here comes the flipping nutcase. Um, Sprout. Oh, we're going to have to use one of these things. I really hate it. Oh, this is where the burning ones are. Right. Missed out on that. Didn't pay attention enough. Um... I love that, that is superb. Um, right. God flipping rout. Hey, oh I forgot about this. You can just run away to here and press this button. That's absolutely brilliant. God, that is flipping full on that is for flipping within 15 minutes of the game. Wow. Um so we've got these burning ones which are good, aren't they? Um, actually, we might put them here. there. Is that it, is it? Right, I'll tell you what, that's gone extremely well. Extremely well. He can go on to number two position there. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, you can always go in here to your private boudoir where you can sort yourself out if you ever have any problems. You can have a number two 
position with that branch there, can't he? Uh, what else? God, we've done well on the old bombs front. I like it, I like it. Well, looking very good. That is, that is not, not always as it go like that. This is not always as um, going by the numbers. I'll tell you what, we've done well there. How does this like it? Alright, we've got one of those poison ones for you, matey. This really does help with the throw and it's actually helped the wyvern as well. There's another, there's a bit of a cheating mode you can do. If you, when you're up there and you spot that button, it does actually press twice. If you press it twice, one of these, there's a secret door here I think, opens up. And uh, it gives you some kind of defences which we didn't use. Uh, because we just played it the hard way. Um, but, we can, oh, oh yeah that reminds me. There's some horrible mosquitoes up here. Uh, well, what are we going to do then? Oh yeah, the um, these things here are good for those mosquitoes. Right, let us save the game yet again. Just overwrite some other game save. Doesn't matter. Uh, now these, as soon as you see these spikes, think mosquitoes because they're coming up any second. So the minute you get down here. Here they come, here they come. I like it. They don't like the old flipping poison cloud, do they? Uh, but on the other hand, we have taken a few flipping bumps and scrapes there. We have a lot. I think those are good. To, oh yeah, look, they really get rid of them quick. Um, so we've got another mess on the floor here. This is another clue. Definitely another clue. And you just go straight through here. Food vicar. In case your adventurers are hungry. Yeah. Right, so we have now got a mortar. What does this mean? Well, it means that our rat master can rustle up some potions, which is all good news. Uh, let's have a look. Lime, we're taking another bat ring from those mosquitoes. Crazy. Um, I think everyone's looking a lot better now. This is definitely for him. Um, oh. So if you go on to that position. I don't know, we missed out on some darts somewhere, I think. I don't know. Oh, he's got some arrows there. Oh, yeah, there's another secret here. So, I don't know if you noticed, there's an alcove over there somewhere. Oh, my God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. Oh, some sort of laboratory place over there, by the look of it. Ready to rock and roll. Um, no, if you take the arrow and put it back, you can take it again. It leads you in this direction. Weapon City. Oh yes. I think the old one. What about this bloke here? He could have that if he gets into trouble. So now you're faced with a locked door. This is locked. Everything's locked, is it? Is this locked? Oh, oh lock. It's locked down. Well, that doesn't matter. Um, oh, this is still open, no? Oh, it's worth having a look around just in case you missed anything. I thought I missed some darts, but I didn't. I must be getting them from somewhere else then, I suppose. But how did you open this door in the first place? Do you remember how you opened that door in the first place? Well, all you did was you pull that lever, and it just works again. Same again. So, it's as easy as that. You just get back to where you were. That's it. Doing pretty well. There's a lot to find out. I mean, it's all about the treasure rooms. We've seen one treasure room. Well, we've seen two actually. Seen uh, we visited one of two. Uh, 
that's actually one of the last places that you go to in the game. Very last. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Here we are. Oh, we've got some herbs, which uh, now we know our rat master is able to rustle up into something helpful, some kind of paste of some kind, I suppose. Healing gem, squeeze past this flipping thing. A bit of a squi squeeze, you know. You might have to. Uh, hello. Hello. Where's my sling gone? We just run into the village people. We don't like them taking their herbs, I suppose. That goes back then in that case. I like the way you can reuse them during the fight. That's really quite good. It is realistic as well. Oh, he hasn't got his, he hasn't got his um, shield anymore, has he? Where happened to that shield, for goodness sake? It just went. Ah, oh, we had a shield a minute ago. Now we haven't. Anyway. Um, she is now going to go on to light weapons too. Oh yeah, water. Definitely water. Um, because we want him... Actually, can he do that spell now? Let's have a little, little test. Because it's quite... Important. Oh yes, I like it. I like it. That is good. That's, that's an ethereal spell, that is. Um... So, yeah, we'll have a shot. Yeah, look, he's got that thing. That's good for if you if you run out of darts and rocks, then that's good. Um, so, rustle up some green potion or something. The sorcerer will have two. Because he's so prone to getting any knocks. Um, that's it. Lovely. left. And that is all. <laughs> what else is there in here? Anything? I oh, like it. Very nice. There's, there's loads of herbs to be had. I like it. That's great. Oh yes. There's also another one there. Share these out. These are very precious, these potions, because you're always going to get knocks here, there and everywhere. Right. That's great. So now... Um, <laughs> he's got one! Oh, no. Right. Save it again, I think. Uh, save number one. Yeah, go on in. Right, so... Oh, there's another one there, look. Missed that. Uh, so she's going to use the rope to go down in here. We're, oh, we're back. Are we back? We're back in this place. Um, is this gate open or what? It's not. That gate's not open. What about this one? So what is the score now? We're back in this place. Oh, look. This, this one's come open. This one has come open. Um, it's worth noting on the map here. Um, I think there's some sort of secret in here. I'm going to do a little note. Secret number three. I, think, I can't remember what it is though. In the you end up, you end up on the other side of that door. Um, so you need a key for this one. Supplies. Supplies for a rainy day. Okay. Oh, this is another treasure room, look. Another treasure room. And we've got the vine here. This is telling you which one to go for. Very helpful clues. Uh, but there's one more thing, look. There's a mess on the ground there. I can see a mess on the ground. So we're just coming to another secret area. Um, that's the rotten bread, isn't it? Oh, we can have the egg. We can have the egg. Um, so, he 
He's going to try these trousers on. Oh, very fetching. Suits you, sir. Suits you, sir. So the rotten bread now comes into its own secret found. So this now, we now go to the part where we made that note on the um, on the map. See? Secret clue there. So that has now opened because we put that rotten bread we put the rotten bread where it belonged. Um, blimey. Don't need that, do we? Um, oh, look, it's fantastic stuff here. This is really top. Um, yeah, I like all this. Um, very, oh, he's got his... There you go. Fantastic. He's qualified on that as well. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there's the flipping shield. Oh, come on. So which is best out of these two things? 5 to 15 are very similar, aren't they? They're really similar, those. Um, nothing between them, really. But he's got his flipping warhammer. Oh, that is top. That is top. And it needs heavy weapons 1, which he's got. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, he's going to love that. He's going to love that. Um, oh, darts. Oh, right now, we've got the darts we need. Look. Actually, I think they get the darts. He's got more darts than... Oh, God, hello. Hello. Where did you come from? Got 47. 47 on that. Wow. 47 on that Warhammer. Wow. That is unbelievable. It needs to go up on armor as soon as possible. So does this fella, really. Um because we want to take advantage of all the light armor that's kind of around. Um, so what, what do we do now? Um, this is the first treasure room we came into. Don't be tempted to take any of the items out of it for whatever you do. That is a big mistake. Just, you know, the usual rule is, unless there's a vine, just forget it. Uh, this is another stores room. Uh, what is the score here? Um, nothing, I don't think. No, there's nothing to... Oh, there is. Look, hanging from the ceiling. All these reeds. Ah, oh, it's a secret button, look. Secret button there. You've got all this stuff hanging from the ceiling as a clue. Yes, I like it. Now, these lightning bombs are keeping though you keep those for the um, the underwater because they actually work underwater those bombs and not a lot not a lot else does so I try and keep those, those uh, lightning bombs for underwater oh we're, in fact we're going to need them now I think are we right we go down here and I remember that we was looking for a rapier sword for the beach we just been to the beach and have a look. What do you think? There's a cloth there and there's a ripped cloth there. Now then, the thing is... Oh god, hello. It's all happening. It's all happening. Like, I tell you what. We will do a little thingy pop. Scenario 2 got me. Right, say for instance you're not thinking about anything. You just say, alright, I jump in. But now, when you go over here, look. Look up there, look, there's an alcove there. And that is right in line with the ripped cloth. But you've missed out, you see. You completely missed out because you got you jumped in too soon. So we're gonna load it back to this one. And now we're gonna take a lesson. Because you you would probably find that out from experience, or maybe you wouldn't. Who knows? So here is the ripped cloth again. So what you do is you stand in front of the ripped cloth and you jump down and rapier sword so now we can go back to that beach with the rapier sword and say hey 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 so here's the candles you go straight through and there's a fantastic area oh my goodness um what is this oh it's another one of those is it i'll tell you what sorcerer could do with that so you've got this and you put it back and you see that raising up on the other side only thing is with that on the other side time, you know. Uh, if time goes down, what happens is, I can't even see. Um, 
There's four of those things. Uh, if you don't watch it, it's on a flipping peg it. So, as you go over here, that's it really. Uh, what else? Trousers? Oh, yeah, fantastic trousers, alright. Good. Fantastic boots. Oh, we've got loads of these resuscitation potions which you are going to need. You are going to need them. So doing really well, doing really well. So, where do we go now? Right, cool, we're about 20 foot deep. And that is where the rapier sword came from up there. Because we dropped down and grabbed it. So you get to here, and these fishes... Look, he's just gone, one of those fishes just went through the wall. <laughs> and that's why. Just pull the fishes through the wall. They know best. Uh, and what do we see? What do we see? Um, well, when you go up here, you see this, these kind of railings here, and you think, well, hold on a minute. I'll oh, check this out. Yay! Saviour of the game. Um, so what you do is you try and get him to stand on it. All you got to do is ask him nice and bright yellow. Charming. We've got <laughs> uninvited guest here. Oh no. Now what we're going to do. I mean there's more of them. This is nuts. Uh, right. The whole battalion of flipping things. This is not fun, is it? This is no fun. We just got blasted, flipping halfway up the top here. They are tracking us. They are tracking us now. Um, what we need is one of these things. How many of these flipping things are there? <laughs> no! You are kidding. Kidding. That is outrageous. Um, what did we do then? I don't really get that. What did we do wrong? It shows you it's not it's not as it's not as easy peasy as anything, is it? Are we back to this bit. Oh here we are, look. Back to that bit, alright. Um so what we do is just go straight up the ladder. We've got the rapier sword, which is quite important. Uh, it does get lead to a really important part of the game. So, remember we saw all these railings? There's a lot of stuff in it, it's well worth doing. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to have that there, I think. Bearing in mind what just happened. Um, yeah, I think so. So, gloves? Not needed. Um, it's all armour at the end of the day. Um, fantastic boots there. I think they've all no she hasn't got boots though. Um, right, so on this occasion I think it's worth saving it. Yeah, right. Watch out for these flipping wyverns. <laughs> Stay in bed. Uh, 
Uh, or maybe it's us. Oh no, it's very difficult to know that. Come on, mate, come down this way a bit quickish. Come on. They haven't come out this time, I don't know why. too long or something, I don't know. I have no idea, but anyway, we are going to go on to this part here. This is where you need the sparkler bombs. It definitely is. Um, now you can go left or right. Oh my god. Where you need these things. I also do take this this thing is a key component in the game, definitely. So we got these keys. These are good. These are definitely worth having. Um, so now we go down this away. There's a flipping great ladder up here. Um, I don't know really what's going on to be honest. Oh they got they got out, they got out. Right, okay. Uh okay, so no point hanging about, there's nothing down there, is there? Oh they haven't all got out. Um yeah. I don't know if I did the right thing there. Oh, I did do the right thing. See these are really worth having. These are the ethereal weapons. Um, if you can pick up a few ethereal weapons, then it's really going to help. These things are good. That's the only bloody thing. Hello! Now we're going to be flipping fried alive. Um, where did those frost bombs come from? Have we got any more? Yeah, we have. Charming, isn't it? Charming. It'd be dangerous around here, mate, I tell you. Uh, right, before anything else happens, I think we save it. Right, save there, good. Well, we picked up some great stuff. Um, He's got arrows, definitely. Look, he's got four arrows. He's got a bow and arrow! He's got a bow and arrow! Right, we've got some more of these. I think we'll just dish them out, definitely. Uh, four arrows is very nice. And I think we don't need these bombs anymore because they, they were really good. Really good to have. Um, where's all the darts? Definitely need those darts. Five darts. Yeah, don't lose the darts. Keep on. He's got a bow and arrow! She's got a fireball. Oh. 
She's got some light armor gloves there. And he could just wear the standard gloves. Great stuff. Oh my god, charming! Charming! I think that's the lot of them. So <laughs> they Um right. So we actually, we actually we um we didn't manage to get this did we? Because this was uh, sort of no good. Um we lost that on the load, unfortunately. That. See, it makes a lot of difference. Um, oh, there's loads of stuff over here, definitely. We can't flip it this out on this. This is absolutely gorgeous stuff, this is. No two ways about it, look. Got these darts. Too much stuff in this one to miss this out. Definitely, is it all there? Nearly. Yeah, it's fantastic that. Right, so what we do is we have a kip a vu. Do another save. What is the stats now? Menu. 41 minutes. Flip it. Absolutely blinding. Blinding. Anybody need boots? It's amazing, isn't it? I think boots have got to be better than those, surely. Right, doing really well. Right, so we are really tracking on down now. Made such a lot of... Uh, there's another flipping wyvern. A flipping wyvern, I don't believe that. So, now we're going to go in the other direction. We are going to shoot on round to the other direction. Wait a minute, keep an eye on where this is. Um, yeah, this is the sparkler bombs thing, so keep that up. We're going to go this way now. And without this sparkler bombs, you're not going to actually make any progress along this ledge. Um, I know that harpoon thing works. Well, that was a great good. Right, so you shoot across here. One of these. That's four! Four of those! You see that? That's actually, that, I'll tell you what, that is really worth picking up, that thing. Wow! That was absolutely brilliant. She's actually got a sack which would be absolutely great for putting in stuff like this food for definite uh, especially if you've got loads of food because it's just taking up too much room uh, yeah the rapier sword can go in there to be honest because we're not going to need that for so long um, God, look at this this has really changed this has really changed in the last little while uh, so she's got this sack it's got the keys in it's got some food in me. Oh, it's a box as well. I always forget that thing. It's got a whole set of clothes in it, and it's got a couple of nice little 
objects. I don't know whether these clothes are actually worth having. So it's, it's worth thinking about. It gives them something. I mean, we don't need any boots, do we? Does, it, does anyone need trousers? Oh, he does. Go on then. get some kind of blue aura comes over you um, if you have the whole set I don't know anyway really not worth worrying about if you got uh, so this is the next ladder up now the thing to notice as soon as you get up the top here is that there are two blue buttons so there's two of them so they both they press in um, it's, I mean, it's just a bonus thing, really. So you press that, nothing happens because you haven't pressed the other one. And now we're going to go down here. And this is like. Oh, look at that. So, oh, crikey. Oh, Riley, look at that. She's qualified on that as well. She's got slight weapons too. So that is great. So now she can go, she can have that as a backup weapon. This is the real deal. What is it? It's a cutlass. Oh, yes. Um, who else has got light armour? Nobody. But they're all sort of getting ready for it. Uh, obviously there is another little lot of secrets here. There's another one of those. That's an ethereal blade. That comes in handy a bit later on. Uh, shield potion. Has she got a shield potion? No, she hasn't. Uh, Always share it out. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, what's this? Oh, I don't know. So that's great. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's got so many arrows now. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we press one of two secret buttons. Right, we're going to press the other secret button the other end now. Because they come in pairs. Um, so this is where the other secret button is up this ladder. Let's see what happens. I think there's some interesting stuff to collect. It's not mind shattering, I don't think. But it's this. You might as well do it. Um, Right, press the, the other secret button. What happened then? Pressed it, nothing happened. Oh, it's from the other side, isn't it? That's good, actually, that that happened. Because, you can see, it looks like nothing happened. But in fact, you've got a bridge on the other side. You've got a bridge on the other side that's come on that you don't know about. So, just go around and find it. Um, it looks like nothing happened, but you've got to go to... Library is closed! Well, it is a Wednesday. It don't open on a Wednesday, so we're heading around to that other blue button that we pressed, because the bridge... No, tell you what, that's not a very nice thing, is it? There you go, look. See? There's the other secret button. So... Another magic bridge that just energised. I don't know if you can see it from here. No, you can't. If you move round, maybe we can get... Yeah, look. Here it is here. Look. Because you press two secret buttons, you get two secrets. 
Right, let's do a little bit of sorting out. What do we need to sort out now? Oh, he's got this. This is fantastic. 10 to 30 as opposed to... What? Where's this? This thing is... Crikey. You know, they're, they're very close. These are very close. Um, oh, way, way over that. Way over that, look. So, I mean, the Warhammer's good. The strange thing is, this is very close, but you don't need heavy weapons one for it. Um, but it's really good, really good. So, what else did we get? Oh, yeah, it's this thing, isn't it? So, he can have this as his secondary weapon or his primary weapon. doesn't really matter. They're very close as well, I think. Um, oh, yeah, this... this Make sure we keep a hold of onto that because that really comes in handy later. So he can actually use this now. Concentration one, I think he's got it, hasn't he? Yeah, yes, yeah, we got it, yeah. Right, so we can go up and take advantage of that now. <coughs> if you so wish. If not, um, you have to do. But it's all stuff that gives you preparation for the game. Take it slow. I don't, I don't know. That's terrible. That is terrible. How can you do that twice in a row? Take it slow. It went! It's only a certain time! It's only a certain time! Blimey! About that! It's been timed out! Well... Okay, well I don't think it was much... But you never know now, do you? Well, what is the next stage of the game then? Um, what is the next stage? Isn't that timed out? Obviously it does. Right. Uh, oh yes. Depends on whether you've got the rapier sword or not, isn't it? This is what it depends on. So if you've got the rapier sword, you go left. If you haven't got the rapier sword, you go. We find that out of experience right now. But because we didn't do that other thing. It's only a, it's only a flipping bonus thing anyway. Right, we go right, uh, if you've got the rapier sword. So basically, if you've got the rapier sword, you can go in either direction. It don't matter. But, going basically to the beach, there's... Getting that twice in a row, and then you find out there's a timer, which is a shame. So, uh, we've all got various injuries. Flipping rat masters, starving out of three. Uh, what is the stats on this? Let's have a look. We've got 53 minutes on the stats. Okay. Um, Uh, 
so there's a chest there and the usual thing how do you get this spikes to go down um, this is something you can do or oh. Loads of things to pick up. Look at this. Tons of stuff. Absolutely loads and loads of stuff. This is the time to do it when that ogre is uh, is nowhere near. This is the time to do it. What is over the back here? Oh yeah, look. There's loads of stuff. Um, so once you've done as much foraging as you can, takes forever to do it. Um, where is it? It's just down there, look. Yeah. It's just down there. He's like the slow train in the rush hour. Come on! tread on this and it opens that chest up. Come on then. How good does it get? How good? Let's see what we got. What we got? Oh, no, I'm kidding. Oh, another key. I'll have that. So, what does it all amount to? I'll tell you what, I'll find that. <laughs> ah, it's nice to have a bit of basic dungeoneering in after all the heavy stuff we went through in the tomb. God, some of that stuff was heavy. That was heavy. It's nice to do this, which is a lot lighter. This is going back to like the... Um, a lot more basic. Engineering. Where do we go now then? We've done all this. There's loads of harvesting to do, which is great. We've got a souvenir. We've got a souvenir, look. Very nice. Right, we just go down this one. Where do we go now? Been here before, I think, have we? Yeah, we have. Oh, we've got the rapier sword, haven't we? where the rapier sword sort of comes in handy. Before we do that, um, what happens here? Who's got the rapier? Oh, it's in, the, in her sack, isn't it? Stored it in there. There you go. Right, nice. Um, don't know if we need this box, to be honest. Um, what else? Sort a few things out. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely have that. You can wear that. Stuff there, look. I think we should place some of the food to, to just free up some space, that's all. He hasn't got any food, look. <laughs> that really worked a treat, that did, didn't it? Uh, right. Oh, yeah, definitely. Save it again, I think. You can do a million saves. Never do too many saves on the 
this game. So where does this go down to then? There you go, this is the spiral dungeon. This is the spiral dungeon for the usual situation. You can jump down here quite easily. Cause what happens is you just get out again. Climbing on top of this thing. Go like that. Uh, so, you can jump down there and it's not uh, a terrible thing, but what you do is you get an arrow, uh, you've got loads of arrows, look, you just chuck an arrow over and that takes care of number one. The next one isn't quite so easy, you've got to switch the darts, chuck a dart, and that's hit that, that far one, look, that's hit the far one. Go back a bit further. Well, you've got to get straight over. You can't muck about. It causes that thing just fades in a bit. So, and also another thing is, um, this thing is now raising up. Um, so I don't want to save it like too much, but I tell you what, uh, this is the time to take all the flipping precautions. Because it's all flipping happening. Um, oh, we've got some help. Got some help from the other side here. I'm gonna have a bomb. Definitely have a bomb, I think. Actually weave around them if you want to. You don't have to stand here and fight them. You can actually weave around this lot and just go straight to the doors at the other end. Um, there's a door either side. Or if you feel confident and you think you can take them out, then fine, do it. If you start getting fed up with them and you, or you find you're getting too much, then you can take a risk and weave around them. Too much. And what you can do is just shoot around to this bit. And there's some buttons either side. Just press it up and you're out. What a crazy world this is. So this is where it's a metal dagger's going to be. There's another way to get some of there. When you go back on the beach, the other one, uh, that does take two of them. Uh, now, now you've got a choice. Which way you're going to go? Uh,
go. Decide whether you're going to go around the corner. There's a rat army waiting for you. Or whether you're going to take this lot. That's it. That's the first hour. So, that's the end of this tape. Thank you very much. <laughs>